Leo, you are up for the tarot energy reading for the month of May. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. K-I-R-W-K-C on all the social media platforms. All right. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just the person sitting here reading the energy and the tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. I will pull an oracle card from each oracle deck. So two oracle cards. And then I will pull some tarot cards. And then that will be that. All right. Let's get started. May I have the energy for Leo? For the month of May. May I have the energy for Leo. For the month of May. May I have the energy for Leo. For the month of May. What is it that Leo needs to hear? What is it that Leo needs to hear? What is it that Leo needs to hear? Energy for Leo. For the month of May. What is it that Leo needs to hear? You know what? This card on the bottom of the deck, it kept calling to me. I'm going to take this, but I'm going to take another card too. What is it that Leo needs to hear? What is it that Leo needs to hear? May I have a card, please? What is it that Leo needs to hear? Thank you. I like that. Awesome. And what's this card on the bottom of it? Because it kept on calling to me. Manifestation. Wow. Okay, hold on. Majadiji. Majadiji. Or Mojadiji. Mojadiji. Mojadiji, which is manifestation. This is the African goddess tarot. And Aseya, which is joy. For that one. Let me go ahead and read these right quick. I don't know. This manifestation. This card was calling to me. I don't know why. It just was. That's why I took it from the bottom of the deck. And that's number nine. Number nine might be relevant to you. Maybe it resonates. It says, goddess of manifestation. Temple. Conjures. Element. Water. Goddess Majadiji is the hereditary reign queen of South Africa's Balabedu people. A matrilineal... Okay, I I totally butchered that. No, I pronounced that right. Matrilineal. Matrilineal queen. Queendom. Majadity. (laughs) Majadity. If I could get the names right, daughters dance to the frequency of the rain. The guidance, showers of blessings are yours. You are the rainmaker, master manifester, shapeshifter, alchemist, and sorceress. Open your hands and heart. Embodiment, yes, make it rain. You are manifesting big. This has been a long time coming. You are co-creating with spirit. Match the energetic frequency, the assay of your desire. You are magnetic and like attracts like. Raise your vibration to align with the sacred. Close your eyes and see your blessings. Fill them in your bones. Ask Believe, act, allow, receive. Declaration. Divine blessings flow to me easily. I like that. I am so glad I picked this card. Okay, now let's go to joy. Number 16. Right quick. Number 16. Aseya. Goddess of Joy, Ashanti, Ghana, Temple, Warriors, Element, Bush. Goddess 
Asayah rules life and death as the joyful crone celebrated as Mama Earth. Her energy is loving, fertile, and nurturing, and her name is invoked at major life transitions. Guidance. Your happiness matters. Joy is sacred. Your laughter waters the earth. You deserve to be happy. It is safe for you to feel good. Allow yourself to feel joy with no limits. This is self-love. Your happiness doesn't need to look like anyone else's. If you can't imagine it, you won't be able to live it. Giggle therapy break. Close your eyes and see yourself joy-filled. Now laugh with your mouth and eyes wide open. Try it to release feel-good endorphins. Declaration. I feel like me when I'm happy. I like these. So joy and manifestation. Let me take these and set these over here. All right. I'm about to take something from the Saints and Mystics. Energy for Leo. For the month of May. Energy for Leo. For the month of May. Energy for Leo. For the month of May. What is it that Leo needs to hear? What is it that Leo needs to hear? What is it that Leo needs to hear? Energy for Leo for the month of May. Energy for Leo for the month of May. What is it that Leo needs to hear? What is it that Leo needs to hear? May I have a card, please? What is it that Leo needs to hear? Thank you. St. Lucie, Fierce Strength. It's kind of interesting that this card came out, St. Lucie, Fierce Strength, because in the tarot deck, strength is your card, Leo. So Fierce Strength. And this is number, looks like number 10 on here. St. Lucie. Yep. Yep. All right, I'm going to go straight to the oracle meeting. Emotionally, St. Lucy releases unexpressed emotions and promotes receptivity to beauty, forgiveness, spiritual support, and guidance in life, love, and magic. Spiritually, she restores blocked clairvoyance, removes the evil eye, and works to improve sight both in general and spiritually. Illuminating blocks and obstacles, obscuring the path in one's life. St. Lucy works effectively in magical rituals and her strength called on to access higher spiritual realms and aid in astral travel. Consciously, she cultivates self-perseverance and determination of life and soul. She disempowers all holds of negative manipulations and purifies the mind of doubts and nervous energies. She induces clear meditation and dissolves psychic interference, invocation. I raise my power from deep inside. St. Lucy protects me from violent eyes. So this is St. Lucy. And just a little quick thing I'll read like the um, first two paragraphs. It says, St. Lucy, also known as Lucia of Syracuse, was a young Christian martyr and venerated saint from circa 283 AD. Her father died when she was just five years of age, leaving her and her mother without a protective guardian. As she grew, Lucy vowed to consecrate her life to God and assist the poor from her own family's wealth. So that's just a little for those of you who don't know who St. Lucy is. All right. Let's pull some tarot cards right quick. And then we're going to wrap it up, Leo. May I have the energy for Leo for May? May I have the energy for Leo for May? May I have the energy for Leo for May?
What is it that Leo needs to hear? What is it that Leo needs to hear? What is it that Leo needs to hear? King of Coins when I split the deck. You may be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus. I don't know why I just heard birthday party. Maybe some of you have a friend that's a Taurus. You're going to their birthday party in May. So maybe that's going on random, I know. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. That person may end up becoming more than a friend, depending on who it is. But yeah, there may be something there. What's at the bottom of the deck? Eight of, eight of Pentacles. Something may be going on with work for some of you as well. Maybe some of you might be getting a promotion, possibly. Others of you, you could already be in, in an authority position already. And that could be going on. Thank you. There could be some conflict going on in your life. Five of Wands. Fire Energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Obviously, don't let it get to you. Don't let any... You know what? I'm going to title this that. Don't let anyone steal your joy. That just came to me. Don't let anyone steal your joy. That's what I'm going to title this. May I have some more cards, please? Thank you. Yeah, Seven of Cups reversed. Seven of Cups in the upright. And Cups energy is water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It can be about options. Reverse means that it, someone knows what they want. They're not, um, they're not foggy. It, like the fog is clear now. Their mind isn't as foggy anymore. Nine of Cups. So now there's wish fulfillment. With the Queen, there might be a soulmate connection going on. Because the Queen of Coins has come out. And then I had seen the King of Coins earlier. That's a divine pair. Someone may finally know what they want. For some of you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Others of you, you may finally know what you want. Someone may have had the fight. For not physically fight. I hope not. We're not, we're not for violence over here. <laughs> Someone may have had to fight. For someone else, in a re for relationship wise, what's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, there may have been two people involved, and then someone finally made a decision. Is what I'm getting. I'm picking up more romance than anything else, not necessarily job. For anything related to a job. All of these cards are good cards. Seven of cups reverse, nine of cups in the upright. Conflict is whatever, because again, wish fulfillment. I did two, and then the moon. Something may happen around the full moon. Just throwing it out there. I did hear something in my head where it... If someone receives a promotion, it could make the other person a little bit uneasy or a little bit intimidated, which is where the conflict might come from. Just throwing it out there where, you know, one person was making more than the other person. And now this person gets this huge raise and now they're making, you know, they're the breadwinner. That could be going on. Like I said, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But for the most part, I feel like this is dealing with romance. Someone finally came around. They know what they want. They were willing to fight for what they wanted. And now it's wish fulfillment is what's happening. So yeah, regardless, going back to the joy part, don't let anyone steal your joy is what I have. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. I'm on a lot of platforms. <laughs> K-I-R-W-K-C on all the social media platforms. Yeah, that's all I have, Leo. Until next time, be blessed.